guys, it's Rebecca. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be working with something to do like kind of a Halloween-esque kind of video. The air just kicked off. I will not be talking through this. I'll probably record a voiceover because there's hammering going on outside. But I got this a while back from Wet n Wild. This is a stencil pack. It says Dragon Queen. It kind of looks like mermaid scales. Um, I have a bunch of palettes out on the counter. I'll pull these out really quick. I don't know if these are self-adhesive or not. So here are the designs. Are these self-adhesive? Oh, they are. I even brought out like my like my glitter glue and stuff like that, just in case. So on the counter, I have the Nomad Cosmetics palette. I wanted to use the greens out of here. There's three in here. I grabbed the BH Ibiza palette because there's some purples and oranges in here I wanted to use. I also have the New Wet n Wild one I got. This one has a whole bunch of colors I can use. And then of course we have the Hello Queen uh, mini palette from Wet n Wild that has some like mermaid-esque colors in it. I have these singles that I got from JD Glow in here. So like these two colors here, I'm thinking like the turquoise and the purple one. The gold also might be pretty. And in here from the ColourPop one, I wanna try and incorporate this like hot pink in here because that's one of the shades I haven't used yet out of the singles that I bought. And I don't think the cranberry shade that I got from ColourPop is gonna work too well with this look, or at least what I have in mind. So we're gonna stick with some bold, bright colors, kind of like the coloring on this palette where it's like pink and green and blue and purple. Um, that was what my thought process was. And um, I'm gonna start with the Nomad palette. And I have corresponding liners and glitters pulled as well. And I also have this Super Shock Shadow that's a, an Empire. That's a really pretty green shade that I haven't used yet. So I will probably try and incorporate that as well. I only have blush on right now because I did an Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging this morning. Um, and my friend Nadine is actually here helping my dad out back with the roof stuff. So they're out there banging on stuff and drilling holes and things and hammering and whatnot. Hence the no talking through the rest of this. And yeah, I'm going to probably work with the bigger of the two stencils and like figure out, I don't know, placement. And then I'm gonna do different colors in each like scale. I might even cut this um, like along the edges so that I can put one on one side and one on the other. I think that would probably work better. Um, and then do the other one over here. Yeah, so that's my plan. Um, I also have, and I have black in the tray. I've got a bunch of like wet and wild liquid lipsticks. For those that don't know, I don't support Jeffree Star anymore, but these are almost the exact same formula as his and they're like $5. So I have a bunch of colors. I still wanna get a teal color from them. I haven't been able to get that, but it took me like three months of trying through, like ordering through uh, the Walmart pickup stuff to get the black. So I do have the black. I don't plan on using it just yet. I also have this like liquid glitter that is called Mermaid, Mermaid Shimmy that's like a, a minty green color, like a sea foamy minty green. So I might even use that. This is from e.l.f. And I've got some other liners and stuff on my tray. And I will most definitely be using this Spelldown Super Shock Shadow from, or highlighter from ColourPop. It's like an iridescent one. The shadow that I have from them in the shade Frog, that's a Super Shock Shadow, does not feel anything like this, which I probably ought to pull that down too. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Holy crap, four minutes. Hear it? Yeah. Okay, so let me get this cut. I'm gonna be jamming out to some music, so you'll probably see me bebopping and whatnot. I'm not going to zoom this in on the actual camera. I will zoom it in and editing, um, and then I will most likely cut out anytime I do this or anytime I do this or whatever, so that way, um, and I'll, I'll, depending on how long this is to get it done, I will speed it up um, either 1.5 or two times speed, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm trying to keep my Halloween looks uh, easier to do this year than last year. Last year they were super intricate. I'm trying not to do that this year. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. I ended up not cutting anything out of this. So you're gonna see like every time I look for a color or look down or pick a new shade or whatever. Right now I'm just placing the stencils. I did kind of cut around the edges and stuff and these do uh, stick pretty good to your skin and uh, even better to your hair. Um, the sides, I think the one was a placed really close to my eyebrow and the other one was a little further back. Um, I kind of wish I had two that were the same size. And then the one that I put in the center was a little off kilter, uh, as you can see here. So what I ended up doing was taking colors from each of the palettes, like 
I picked three or four shades or maybe five shades out of the Nomad Cosmetics Orient Express palette and I did like random placement using the same shade um, you know while I still had that shade on the brush I'm using a little Morphe brush I will try and link everything I used I only used a couple of palettes um, I did end up using the one ColourPop uh, pink shade and the Super Shock in Empire. I ended up using that, and of course I used the highlighter. I also, at the very end of this, included the video clip of the entire look once it was finished so you could see like the entire finished look. This is part one. Um, part two is the eyes, and I'm going to even make this a part three because I did a bunch of detailing work after. So the rhinestone placement, the starfish that I added, the little swirly things that I added, all of that is going to be part three. Part two is just the eye look. So um, this part here was about 40 minutes long. Most of this is sped up times two. The look where I show you the look at the very end is sped up one and a half times and um, I didn't include any pictures in this one. So hopefully you guys like this because um, it took quite a while to do this. So that's why I didn't cut, I didn't take the time to cut everything out. It took two hours for this thing to render just so I could edit it. Um, so cutting out anytime I look down or turn to the side or pick a shade or whatever was would have been like another three or four hours worth of editing um, so I made it easier on myself and just left everything in every time I look down every time I pick a new shade uh, every time I color switch my brush all of that is left in here all I did was just speed it up times two and at first it looks kind of dark and grungy because of the shades I'm using out of the Nomad palette and I did that on purpose because when I think like mermaids, yes, you think like jewel tones, blues and purples and pinks and stuff like that. But if you think about a fish, a fish is like yellows and greens and um, mustard shades and like hunter green and browns and things like that. So I tried to include those shades as well and when I put that yellow down I actually picked up a shimmer shade out of the palette and then tapped over that as well to give it an iridescent effect I tried to use shimmer shades or matte shadows and then I tapped another shade over it that was a shimmer that was a light shimmer that would either correspond with it or that was just basically a white shade that I could tap over it to make it shiny I think the majority of the mermaid scales was um, some form of shimmer shade now I am switching palettes. If you notice, I, I did look away for a little bit. I am switching palettes and I'm using that little Wet n Wild palette that has like those mermaid-esque type shades. Um, and it was actually, I had a hard time working with this little palette. I haven't owned a small Wet n Wild palette in a long time because I remember they were difficult to work with. They were hard to pick up pigment. I would get hard pan in them. and there are like three shades in this palette I had already used so I was familiar with those but the two green shades and the other purple shade that I hadn't used that were in this palette seemed to be kind of hard to pick up with this brush I even um, had to pick it up with my finger at times and then go back over the shades so when I picked up color with the brush I also picked up color on my finger so when I tap over those shades it intensifies it a little bit more and of course you can see I'm singing along to the music um, but I'm not going to talk through the rest of this I switched to one more palette um, after this and a few si and I went in with the singles and then um, I was done with part one so uh, hopefully this is helpful to somebody all I'm doing is picking like random colors and random placements whatever I thought would go um, and I tried not to use the same shades near each other. If you look, I've got like the color placement in random spots for a reason because I wanted um, the colors to be really rainbow. And yeah, I think it turned out really great at the end and um, the stencils were a great idea. You can still find stencils like this on the Wet n Wild site. You can go to like the Wild Deals page. Sometimes you can get them for 99 cents, but most of their stencils are either $1.99 or 2 dollars 
They have some that are $4.99. Just wait for them to go on sale. Use something like Shop Tagger or Honey and those are um, browser extensions that you can use to let you know when something's on sale. That way you don't have to like keep going back to the website to check. And I basically used that brush for the entire the entire thing. The, this entire look, I ended up using the exact same brush. There's that hot pink shade from ColourPop that was a single I bought. Um, so yeah, enjoy the um, Sea Captain and the Mermaid from Asher Fu Valero. Um, I found it on YouTube. So that's the music that you hear playing behind me. And yeah. I will uh, see you guys at the very end. This is part one of a three-part video. Enjoy!
Okay, so I'm going to stop this part of the video here because this took 21 minutes to get done. And the last little, I ended up using everything but the Big Wet n Wild palette. So what I think I'll do is in the second part of this, which will probably go up tomorrow, like the next day, um, I will do just the like finishing touches, like my eye look, my lips, the rest of my face, because the battery on my camera has been flashing since about eight minutes in. So I will split this into two videos like I've done with all the other Halloween looks that I've got scheduled to edit. Um, other than pulling on my hair to get it out, I think this should have been over here a little bit more, but all in all, I think it's really neat. And I tried to use like different colors, different places. So I'm gonna be using similar colors to what is on the perimeter of my face for my eye look. And I have like these little guys, I don't know. That might be a little weird doing something like that down the schnoz but I could probably do some on like my neck or something. So anyways, um, they're still hammering out there. I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, you can get creative. You can use like a, a beauty blender and pick up shadow with that, with a dry beauty blender and like pounce over it. But this one's damp. So that probably would have been a bad idea. Um, and I do plan on like adding some like gemstones and stuff to this after. So I will probably, when I get to that part, I will cut that part out of the next video and then stick it in here somewhere. Um, probably at the end of like doing this stuff so that you can see where and how and that kind of stuff. I also have glitters and liners and stuff on the counters. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Hopefully you guys like this. Um, and like I said, these were from Wet n Wild. They have a price on them. No, I got them from the actual Wet n Wild site. I think they were $1.99 and I've had them for months. I just haven't used them. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I will see you for part two in a little bit.